All right, now that we've opened Google SketchUp 7, first thing we want to do is hit the R on the keyboard. Now you'll notice that my cursor has changed from an arrow to a pencil, and you'll see this box in the top has uh, been selected. Now what you need to do is you need to click the mouse and just click it. Don't hold it down, but once you've clicked it, you can move the mouse around without having to hold it down. This is one of the most important things of SketchUp that people have trouble understanding. Make sure you click and release. Don't click and hold. Okay, if you accidentally click and hold, you just hit Control Z and try again. First thing we want to do is we want to set the size of our rectangle. So I'm going to hit 3, 6 on the keyboard and then I'm going to hit enter. Now we have a really tiny rectangle here so I'm going to use the scroll wheel on my mouse and I'm going to zoom in. Now notice if I zoom with my pencil somewhere else it changes how we zoom in. So you want to center your cursor on the shape and then zoom in with the scroll wheel. The next thing we want to do is we want to make this two-dimensional shape into a 3D shape. So I'm going to hit P on the keyboard and that is the push-pull tool which is highlighted here at the top. Now again I'm going to click on the rectangle and I'm going to release. I'm not going to click and hold. So click and you can see I'm not holding down the mouse button but the shape is changing. Now I can set the distance, you can see in the, again in the corner, how much distance I want it to set. I only want it to go 2 inches, so I'm just going to hit 2 and enter. There we go, I'm going to zoom back a bit so we can see that a little better. There we go. Now, we've, been, uh, we've done a lot so far actually. So we're going to hit Control S to save, and I'm going to save this to my home drive, and I'm going to call it Mr. Han Shape 1. So that's saved. And make sure you save regularly, it's very important. Now the next thing we want to know is how to look around this shape. So we're going to use this tool here, the Orbit tool, which as you could probably guess, the letter is O. So by clicking O, and now this time I am holding down the mouse button as I move around, and I can see this from virtually any angle. I can go underneath, I can go straight down, I can go from any side. Now what you're trying to do is you want to line it up so it looks almost like the picture that is in your booklet. So that's about right. Um, you may need to use the pan tool, and I'll use it here just to show you, to drag it over a bit if you want. Of course the pan tool is not the letter P, so um, don't get confused between panning and push-pull. Push-pull is the letter P on your keyboard. The next thing we want to do to make this into our shape is we want to use the tape measure tool. So go ahead and hit the letter T and now we need to talk about inferencing. Now I know everyone's sick of inferencing but it's really important with this computer program. You'll notice right now I have a blue dot and the pop-up box says on the face. Now if I move it to the line it's going to say on the edge. If I move it to the corner it'll say an end point of the lines and I can actually find the midpoint of the line if I wait. There we go. Midpoint. So you're going to look for the midpoint, and again, you're going to click and release. And now I'm going to move my mouse. I'm not holding my finger down on the button. And you can see the dotted line shows right now I'm at 1 and 7, 7, one and seven sixteenths of an inch away from the edge. Now I actually only want to be 1 inch. I could drag it, but it's easier if I just go to my keyboard, hit 1, and hit enter. And we're going to do this again, except this time we're going to go down the front. We've done the top, and now we want to go down the front. So click on the midpoint, let go, 
move down so that the computer infers that we're moving in a downward direction instead of in a sideways or there you saw it pop in the upward direction. See it's inferring going up. We want it to go down and I'm going to hit again one and enter. Now we're almost done making shape number one. The only thing we need to do now is make a line and push the shape into place. So let's use the line tool which is the letter of course L. Very logical and we're going to wait until the computer infers the intersection. You see it says intersection here. I'm going to click, release, and I can move that around anywhere I want, of course, but I want to go to the other end here. And you can see it's green, but you'll learn about what that means later. And I'm going to click since it's on the intersection. And we're almost done. All I have to do is push this into place and erase my guidelines. So I'm going to hit what letter? P for push and pull. And you notice now I could push either of these. Well, I only want to push this one. So I'm going to click and release. And now I can, of course, move it up and down. You'll notice it won't go any further. It says offset is limited to that um, minus two. See the minus two? There's the, the little warning sign. So I don't want to go minus two, I actually want to go to my line, and there it is inferring that it's on this line. Once I get there, I can click. And now I have a one inch step down and across. So the only thing left to do before handing this in is to erase my guidelines. So I need to click the letter E, and you'll notice the eraser tool is highlighted and now I click and drag and you see it's highlighted blue for a second I let go and it's gone again click drag blue and it's gone as well so now you're done you need to control S save your work close it and then you need to submit it you need to look for the design and technology folder in the drop Don view drop off and drag your file from your home drive to your class folder um, make sure you do it correctly because if you don't, you cannot see inside the folder. So if you're not sure, ask a teacher to check for you. Good luck and we'll see you soon in class.